bailiff at Wagtails. <laughs> Being Pager on Thursday the 28th of April, um, we made our way over to Wagtail uh, for a 48 hour session on the Cat Lake. It's been a tough session so far, uh, you know, weather, weather's not been too great to us. Uh, we've had a few fish out, I think nine so far, uh, two cats uh, and a number of carp, you know, up to about 10 pounds. so I have run it here obviously. Uh, it's nice to have Bee and Matt here to, to do a bit of filming which, which we sorted out quite a while ago. Uh, like Ben said, unfortunately the, uh, the weather ain't been kind so really the cats are not sort of like playing ball how we want them to do at the minute. But it has been hard like Ben said, uh, you know it's not easy. Uh, we've had to really scale down on the baits to be honest with you. The rig I was using was a multi rig, I was using semi stiff head trap, uh, um, I was using mainline pop ups trimmed down. At the minute, you know, Ben's had to scale uh, boilies right down to sort of like dumbbells. Uh, I've been fortunate enough, you know, uh, the other day I managed to bank six cats, but unfortunately it wasn't the day when B was here, uh, which I wished it would have been. But, we can't do nothing about that. It has been tough, you know, I fish it a lot, um, you know, for this time of the year the weather's not great, um, they've not switched on yet, but, you know, hopefully tonight we'll be able to, you know, pick a few out hopefully. All, all, all the fish I've had have been on the month's previous session so far, uh, bottom bait that hasn't done anything for me as yet, um, you know, so I'll keep, I'll keep at it with the month's rig, you know, because it's producing. Funnily enough, I actually caught a 20 pound cat on a Brutella pop up, which is a, a new one for me. Um, after that, I, I, trained, I, I changed to the, the white grill, uh, mainline again, uh, and that produced another small car of uh, about six pounds. And there was a plenty enough in there. It's more simple on here to be honest. People come here speaking efficiently either, but that's the problem. Yeah, yeah, you know. but you know, like I said, but no, it, it's alright. I mean I'm you know, I've started making my own pop-ups and boilies and you know I caught on sort of like my boilies yesterday and luckily enough today Ben caught sort of like on on some of the pop-ups that I made, which uh, you know, which was pleasing. So I've got a on your shelf. Yeah, uh, bottom base and yeah, yeah, and on the the bottom bottom yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, the two the two boys are gonna sort of like go out tonight and, and try and get a good one on camera, which I'm hoping they do. Uh, we're sitting in the lodge at the minute at Wagtail because uh, conditions outside are not very nice, so we've been coming to the lodge to do a bit.
good. Yeah, uh, we've got a half past one in the morning now. Uh, it's on 221 mil, other book pellets, dipped in crow's blood. Um, I was hoping this was going to happen, and, and it has. Um, hopefully, it should be racing in the next minute now. Here we have it, early hours of Saturday morning, 21 pounds on the nose, uh, hopefully there'll be another one to see, but couldn't wish for anything better at this time, uh, due to the weather, that's very happy, you know, we'll, uh, we'll get him back and see if we can have his big brother. For anyone that's keen to buy, uh, the session's over now. Um, the last fish we had was at 1 o'clock this morning, which was the 21. Had a few more signs. B lost one. Um, you know, hopefully next time there'll be a few more out. You know, uh, so not got much more to say. But it's been a fantastic weekend. Thank you to B. And until next time, see ya.